จันเนจอมจาราตุนโดนเนดาจาซับจินดาจอยอนเดเนเดเดโวจุดาวจันเนจันเตมอลุมจาวรอยอลานเตตอุมาราบาจานาเตอุมาราบาจานาเตอุม
In terms of benefiting both self and other, the necessary precondition is having compassion, bodhicitta. Without bodhicitta, it's not possible to benefit self and other. So in order for us to be able to do this, it's necessary that we generate a foundation in compassion and bodhicitta. <coughs> 如果有菩提心的话，我们可以自离。从此以后，我们的人生真的是哇，非常有意义。Once we've generated bodhicitta, then we're certainly able to benefit ourselves. From this point onwards, our lives will be extremely meaningful. 然后呢，不仅仅使自己的人生啊成为非常有意义，而且。自從有了菩提心以後呢,我們也可以幫助和利益很多很多的眾生。And it's uh, not just one's own life that becomes extremely meaningful from this point onwards. At the same time, one is able to help and benefit many other beings. 我们昨天也讲过这个事情，啊，我们学佛、学大乘佛教，必须要从菩提心开始。我们每一天，我们的日常的修行当中，必须要有一个菩提心的修法。so yesterday, as we, uh, as we learned as students of the Mahayana path, it's necessary that we start with bodhicitta. Every day, our practice should include some uh, bodhicitta cultivation practice. Another一个理智理理他的方法就是要征服心我们自己的内心的本心。要正悟空心,啊,正悟有这个正悟的智慧以后呢,然后我们把之前的菩提心和这个正悟空心的智慧结合双云,这样子以后呢,这就是大,就成为大乘佛教的核心。Another way that we can benefit self and other is to realize our self-nature or realize emptiness. And once we have done this, we will be able to combine the wisdom of emptiness with compassion. And this will form the core of the Mahayana teachings. 啊，征悟了空心啊，征悟了我们自己的内心的本心以后，也也就是就像像菩提心一样，也可以自离，也可以更好的自离和离他。So once we realize our self nature or realize emptiness, then just as with bodhicitta, from this point on, we're able to benefit ourself and even more so are we able to benefit others. So when we talk about realizing, realizing our self-nature, we're really talking about realizing the basic nature of mind. This is what we mean when we talk about realization. Uh,要征服,那我们要从两种佛心开始讲,佛心就有两种佛心,我们今天给大家介绍这个两种佛心。so in terms of uh, realizing emptiness, we're going to start uh, uh, with understanding two kinds of Buddha nature. Now两种佛心,第一个佛心就叫做自然主佛心。自然主的意思是什么呢? 天生,自然就是光明的,纯洁的, 
，也就是说，我们的性的本心，它本来就是佛的智慧，所以叫做自，所以所以叫做自然。主啊，住是什么意思呢？主就是我们的性的本心啊，我们的内心当中有佛，佛实际上永远都在我们的心中，嗯。佛永远都住在我们的心中，所以呢，叫做自然住啊，自然住佛心。So the first type of Buddha nature that we are going to be looking at is described as naturally present Buddha nature or naturally present potential. So the our the natural um, state of our mind is luminous and pure. It is the state of Buddha's wisdom. We can say that, in fact, the Buddha resides eternal, eternally in our mind. So this is what we mean when we refer to this naturally present Buddha nature. <coughs> 啊，这个自然主佛心是我们每一个人、每一个众生的心的本心都是一样的。我们每一个众生的心的表面的显象是有所不同啊，有各种各样的情绪，有各种各样的心态都有的。但是呢，所有的众生的心的本心就。没有，嗯，没有两啊，没有不同的，都是一样。啊，这个心的本心啊，就叫做佛心。Every person, indeed, every being, has the same basic nature. Even though、uh, their minds, the superficial、uh, appearances of mind, may be different,、uh, people have different moods, attitudes, etc. However, in terms of the basic nature of mind, everyone is exactly the same. This basic nature is Buddha nature. Ah, 真无啊，真无的意思就是说，我们啊，感觉到自己的心的本心啊。我们感觉到、感悟、体悟到我们的心的本心啊，这个叫做真悟。So when we talk about、uh, realization or enlightenment or awakening, what we're really talking about is、um, experiencing the basic nature of one's own mind. 那我们的心的本心，平时我们都不知道的啊，为什么不知道？在现实生活当中，我们根本就感觉不到这个我们的心的本心。我们在现实生活当中所感觉到的这个内心啊，是我们内心的最表面的这个现象，这是最外表。最表面的现象，它的最深的地方，它的最深处，我们啊从来都没有接触过啊。这个我们只没有没有智慧的话，就一般我们接触不到这个本心。The basic nature of our mind is something that we don't know about. Um, in our everyday lives, it's not something that we have experience of. That which we、um, regard as our inner mind, in fact, is actually, actually the outermost or most superficial level or layer of our mind. In terms of our mind's deepest recesses, this is、um, these are something that we have never encountered before. In general,、uh, when we lack wisdom, it's not possible for us to encounter these deepest recesses of our mind. In this question, ah, mind's basic nature, this question, Han Chuan Fu Jiao's Chan Zong, and Zhang Chuan Fu Jiao's Ga Ju Pai Da Da Shou Yin, and Zhang Chuan Fu Jiao's Ning Ma Pai Da Da Yuan Man, oh, these three topics are completely one-sided. In terms of the basic nature of mind, 
the Chan school in Chinese Buddhism as well as the Mahamudra tradition in the Kaju school and the Dzogchen tradition in the Nyingma school are consistent in their understandings. Chan The uh, sixth patriarch of the Chan school, Huineng, um, became enlightened or awakened or realized. And uh, what it was that he realized was the basic nature of his mind. And uh, in doing so, he became the sixth patriarch. However, in realizing, he realized nothing other than this, the basic nature of mind. 然后嘎举牌的这个大收音当中禅宗的这个空心描述的都是一样的 And in the Kaju tradition, uh, the tradition of uh, Mahamudra, there is a um, tradition known as the Heng He Mahamudra. In this tradition, the number of uh, words, or rather it's not a very textual tradition, uh, the words are relatively concise and few, and yet the depth of these teachings is very profound. And the explanation or understanding of emptiness in this tradition is entirely consistent with the Chan understanding. Lian And the understanding of the basic nature of mind in the doctrine tradition of the Nyingma school is consistent with the understandings of both the uh, Chan and Mahamudra understandings. And in many respects, the methods of each of these traditions for realizing the nature of mind are very similar. <coughs> 物质世界，啊，我们不了解，我们过去物质世界它到底是它的结构，它到底是什么，我们都都不了解啊。我们在日常生活当中所接触到的物质，比如说我们眼睛看到的，我们耳朵听到的，我们的手可以摸的，接触
when we encounter these uh, material, the material world in this way, we're not encountering the essence of the matter itself. What we are encountering or perceiving, in fact, is just an illusion created amid the basic essence of this material. So in terms of our everyday life, it's not possible for us to um, perceive the basic essence or nature of matter. 无知 本质，它是物质的本质以外的一种我们自己的感官所创造出来的一个世界，所以我们实际上连物质我们都不知道它的本质是什么样子。of matter, if matter in fact had a basic essence, presumably it would be found at the level of the microcosm, that is in the most smallest units of matter possible in very small particles. In terms of the macrocosm, um, everything that we experience in the macrocosm is not the basic essence of matter. It is something uh, beyond or besides this. It is essentially an illusion uh, created by our senses. So therefore, it is not. Therefore, we have no understanding, in fact, of the basic essence of matter. <coughs> 原子、电子、暗物质 Things like molecules, uh, atoms, electrons, X-rays, light waves, etc. These are all forms of matter. However, in times uh, gone past, we didn't know that these types of matter existed. We only believed that matter was that which we could uh, see and perceive with our own eyes. We didn't appreciate that there were so many other forms of matter besides this. Uh, 科学、心理学、哲学到目前为止，还没有一个非常非常确定的对我们的内心的呃定义。And uh, uh, in uh, even more than uh, uh, our lack of understanding of the material world, we have an even uh, more lacking understanding of our minds in terms of Western science, psychology, philosophy, etc. So far, none of these disciplines have a um, proper definition of mind. Some uh, scientists view the mind as the brain, some view the mind as a function of the brain. There are many different opinions on this. However, so far, um, no one has come up with an explanation that has received wide consensus. 
，所以、嗯、学术界也到目前为止还不还不是很了解我们的心啊、呃、是什么样子，尤其是不了解我们的心的本质，或者是我们的心的最深处是什么样子都不了解。So um, academic uh, disciplines. Uh, to this point, don't have a very good understanding of the mind, especially uh, they, the academic or academic disciplines don't have a uh, good understanding of the fundamental nature or the deepest level of mind. Then we, every person, in real life, from his own personal experience, doesn't know. 也不知道这个我们的内心世界它到底是什么样子啊，然后我们更加的不了解它的最深处啊，它的真正的面目，就像禅宗讲的，它的本来的面目是什么样子，我们呃一无所知。And as for ourselves in our everyday lives, in terms of our personal experience, we also don't understand our minds, much less the deepest layers of our minds, what、um, is sometimes called the original face of our mind. Because we don't understand our own mind's essence, so we have created a lot of problems in this process, a lot of problems. 呃，这个无名，呃，无名就是无知、愚昧，啊，就是因为愚昧，就是因为我们不了解这个外物质世界和精神世界的本质，所以我们有对这个世界、对我们的内心有很多很多的误解，然后这些误解给我们带来了特别特别多的烦恼，也就是我们现实生活当中经常。解决不了的这些烦恼，就是因为我们不了解我们的内心的本质所导致、所产生的。And it's、uh, because we don't understand our minds that we experience a great deal of suffering.、Uh, we give, we experience great ignorance or what we could otherwise call foolishness. It's on, and, and this suffering and this ignorance comes about precisely because we don't understand the nature of the、um, external material world, and we don't understand the basic nature of our minds. And、uh, given this to be the case, we have a lot of misunderstandings, mistaken、uh, understandings about both of these things. They result. In, this results in a great deal of suffering. And so many of the kinds of suffering that we experience in our everyday lives that we regularly can't、uh, properly solve comes about on、um, due to a lack of understanding in these regards. Ah, this life in which we need to learn, uh, need to understand, uh, can understand, uh, can learn, is very, very much, very, very much, very, very much. 啊，呃，但是这些啊，这些知识啊，我们知道了以后，我们学会了以后呢，实际上也就是只能解决一些我们的眼前的一些问题。那很多的这些本质上的很多的，比如说像生老病死，还有我们很多的烦恼啊，这些知识、啊、解决不了，所以我们。要了解我们的心的本心，这就是我们这一生当中最重要的啊，最重要的。我们可以学很多其他的，但是呢，不能不学啊，不能不学习我们的心的本质是什么样子。然后我们可以知道很多很多的知识啊，但是呢，我们有很多的知识，我们知道不知道都没问题，但是。不能不知道我们的心的本心是什么，因为心的本心的这个知道和不知道、明白和不明白，就决定我们啊轮回啊，或者是涅槃，或者是解脱。
a lot that we can potentially study in the course of our lives. And much of this knowledge, after we master it, however, is only able to assist us in solving short-term problems. Uh, this kind of various kinds of uh, worldly knowledge is not able to help us in solving or transcending the sufferings of cyclic existence. So, in actual fact, understanding the basic nature of mind is the most important kind of knowledge for us to develop. Certainly, we can study many other things, but uh, uh, ultimately, the one thing that we can't afford not to learn or not to understand is the basic nature of our mind. The reason being that whether the difference between understanding this or not, or between um, uh, learning this or not, is really the difference between uh, liberation, nirvana, uh, etc. 首先我们在理论上了解一下新的本行是什么然后理论上了解了以后知道了以后呢然后我们再去修心搭坐亲身体会自己的新的本行亲身体会的时候这个叫做真物 so in terms of the basic nature of mind, this is something that we first need to understand theoretically. And after we understand it theoretically, then we go about internalizing this understanding in practice through meditation. And when we gain direct personal experiential understanding of the basic nature of mind, then this is what we refer to as Realization or awakening or enlightenment. Ah,新的本性，我们可以啊分两种不同的新的本性，也就是我们今天讲的两种佛性。so in terms of the basic nature of mind, it's possible to uh, talk about this uh, in two types. These two types are precisely the two kinds of Buddha nature that we're going to be talking about this evening. Uh,那么今天我们要讲的这个两个两个佛心啊，当中的第一个就是我们刚才前面提到过的这个自然主。自然珠就是因为我们的心的本心它是我们的心的本心我们的心存在的时候它就存在所以它是自然的它不是猴天的它不是人为的它是我们的心的本心那这个另外一个名字就叫做如来藏叫做如来藏也叫做佛心这就是
if the, uh, the basic nature of our minds is Buddha nature, then why is it that we don't see it, we don't experience it? Why is it, uh, if the basic nature of our minds is Buddha nature, that we um, experience so much greed, anger, attachment, suffering, affliction, and impurity of the mind? This is something that many people find it difficult to understand and um, are quite troubled by this question. <coughs> 就像水水和饼水是液体的但是呢它在外面的这个饮水一些客观的饮水比如说它的温度临下的时候呢它可以变成饼那当它是一块饼的时候呢我们看不见液体没有办法知道它是液体 So uh, the, our minds or their basic nature, we can uh, liken this to water and ice. So water is a liquid. This is something that everyone knows. However, under uh, certain external conditions, such as when the temperature descends to below zero degrees, then water becomes ice. And when it's in ice form, we can't see liquid. Uh, it's not possible for us to perceive the liquid nature of ice. However, when the temperature increases, the ice melts. And when this happens, we can see clearly that the ice is not made of metal or stone or some other kind of substance. We can see that its basic nature is water. 在中国哈尔滨有一个叫做冰雪大师节城市一样 In uh, Harbin, in the northeast of China, there is every year an ice a uh, sculpture, an ice lantern festival. And uh, during the time of this festival, uh, an entire city virtually is constructed of ice. There are ice buildings, uh, all kinds of objects fashioned from ice, and the entire vista appears just like a real city. There are different lights of every color and it looks very beautiful so when we look at it from um, outside it doesn't appear to be made of ice it seems to be in fact a real city uh, 所有都是变成了液体都是水 so these ice sculptures, when they exist in the form of ice, they take on different forms. There are houses, there are all kinds of uh, different objects. However, when these sculptures melt, 
they all turn into liquid, they turn into water. And in this state, there is no difference between them whatsoever. It's not possible to locate any difference at all. Their basic essence is just water. Zhuzuan 它就变成了一个固体的东西，一样，我们现在感觉不到佛的智慧，呃，但是呢，它的本质是佛的智慧。The um, texts, the writings of uh, Buddha Dharma, as well as the key writings, key texts of the Mahamudra tradition, alike use the metaphor of water and ice. For um, to to describe the mind, essentially water uh, is likened to the basic essence of our minds, and ice uh, is our minds as they currently are because of ignorance. Our minds currently exist in the form of a block of ice, very solid. And in this state, it's not possible for them to experience Buddha wisdom, even though the wisdom of the Buddha is its basic nature. Then, when the temperature of the environment is high, 有大有小 就像啊，饼一样，有烦恼，有各种各样的这个执着，有无名，有很多这样子的这个啊情绪。然后我们啊，在外面的温度上升一样，我们通过一种方法，把我们的心逐渐逐渐的融化为啊佛的本佛的智
However, just like increasing the external temperature, we can uh, apply methods to melt our minds until they become reduced to the state of Buddha wisdom. And everyone's mind uh, can become uh, this state of Buddha nature. And uh, Buddha nature, just like when ice melts to become water, there is no distinction or difference in this state. There's no different color, there's no distinction in form. So we can say that the state of Buddha nature is one where no differences in thoughts or opinions or afflictive thoughts and emotions exist at all. All of these melt into one nature, our basic nature. So it's just like the blue sky. It's extremely pure. It's uh, not uh, afflicted by anything at all. And this is the state that we ultimately need to achieve. Bojong 非常的纯洁意思就是说我们的心的本心当中就是没有任何的这些烦恼所有的烦恼所有的情绪都在我们的内心的表面的层面上表面的层面上如果我们有一天能够突破这个表面的层面表面的层面表面的 能够进入到他的这个最深的啊，最深的、最深的层面，这样子的话，那我们就会发现我们的新的本心真的是没有烦恼的。这些所有的烦恼都不是来自于我们的新的本心，而都是一个表面的啊，表面的现象。如果我们
temporarily arise due to various causes and conditions. 然后很多的佛经啊，里面讲我们的心的本心是光明的，光明的，永恒的啊。那光明是什么意思呢？跟我们的这个光啊，我们眼睛可以看到的可见光，然后我们的眼睛看不到的不可见光啊，这个这些光根本就没有关系的啊。佛经里面虽然讲我们的心的本性是光明。但是跟这些光是没有没有任何的呃关系啊。那为什么叫做光明呢？就是说，因为光它就是一个比喻。比如说光明啊，任何地方有光明，那这地方是不会有不会有黑暗啊。凡是有光明的地方，不会有黑暗啊。永远都这两个永远都不会在一起。同样的，我们的心的本心是没有烦恼的啊，没有这些污垢，没有这些污染，没有这些污染，它它是一个非常纯洁的、非常纯洁啊，自然的本质，它是纯洁的，所以叫做光明。这个光明啊，并不是光，光明就是代表纯洁，它的纯洁，没有烦恼。他没有执着，呃，所以叫做光明。In the Buddhist scriptures, the mind is also frequently described as luminous in nature, and this word luminous is um、uh, doesn't mean、uh, carry the same meaning that we usually、uh, understand it to have. That is. Of or related to light, such as the light we can see with our eyes, visible light,、uh, light, the light spectrum that we're not able to see with our human eyesight. There is no connection, basically, to light in this conventional sense.、Um, In actual fact, this、uh, luminous, this idea of luminosity, is a metaphor that is used for the reason that any place where there is luminosity, there will be no darkness. Darkness and luminosity can never coexist together. So similarly, the basic nature of our mind is one that is free of defilements. It's free of impurities. It's a state of extreme purity, and therefore we call it luminous. So this word "luminous" is really representing purity, a state with no suffering and no attachment. If we have defiled our mind, then we will find that all the sins, 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 all the sins. 然后最后也就在这个光明当中消失啊，他的神、主、灭啊，都离不开这个光明，他永远都是光明。但是呢，我们自己啊没有发现啊，我们没有发现他是光明。为什么发不？为什么我们没有发现呢？因为我们了解到的，我们感受到的。我们接触到的啊，我们的内心的世界永远都是表面的现象，我们永远都看不见它的最深的地方。所以呢，啊，我们没有没有没有感觉到它的本心是光明。If we are able to realize the basic nature of mind, we'll discover that it is free from all suffering. We will discover that all suffering indeed arises from this luminosity and also dissolves back into this luminosity. The arising, abiding, and ceasing of all of our thoughts, in suffering thoughts, is.、Um, Has never been apart from this state of luminosity. However, this is not something that we have ever realized. It's not something we've ever understood. The reason being that our experience of mind is very superficial. We never experience or see its deepest levels. 
我们的心的本心在弦中啊，弦中里面呢就叫做般若波罗蜜多，般若波罗蜜多是我们的心的本心，然后同时也叫做佛心如来藏，嗯，然后在密法里面呢，密宗里面呢啊，就叫做自然的坛称啊，自然的坛称，自然的坛称实际上指的是。我们的心的本心啊，本心叫做坛称，所以有些时候呢，叫做在密法里面就叫做自然的坛称，还有显宗、密宗，所有的大乘佛教都都同意的叫啊，把我们的心的本心叫做叫做法神啊，法神，这是佛的法神啊，佛的三身之一。所以呢，我们的心的本心，实际上它本来就是佛，所以叫做佛心。Uh, this basic nature of our mind is described in the sutras as、um, wisdom.、Um, it's also described as、uh, the, our Buddha nature. In the、uh, tantras. Uh, the basic nature,、uh, basic nature of mind, is also sometimes called the natural mandala. This、um, term, the natural mandala, in fact, refers just to this: the, the basic nature,、uh, basic nature of mind. Whether it be the sutric or the tantric、uh, traditions, indeed, all of the Mahayana traditions.、Um, Uh, in common, also refer to the basic nature of mind as the Dharmakaya. So the Dharmakaya here refers to one of the three bodies of the Buddha. Since um, the um, the basic nature of our mind is always、uh, the Buddha, therefore the basic nature is referred to as Buddha nature. So, for 啊，离我们有多远呢？啊、可以说远在天边啊，近在眼前啊。因为佛啊，释迦牟尼佛两千五百多年前就圆寂了啊。然后呢，阿弥陀佛呢，在西方极乐世界离我们很远很远，所以我们感觉到佛远在天边啊。但是。真正的佛啊，都在我们自己的内心当中。我们的心的本性就是佛，所以佛近在眼前。我们今天我们在座的每一个人，如果我们花一点点时间啊，下一点功夫的话，我们每一个人都有机会能够见到这个佛的啊，这个我们自自己的心的本性的啊，这个佛。就是我们每一个人都有有机会见到佛的法身。The distance between ourselves and the Buddha can be described as as far away as the heavens and as close to us as right in front of our eyes. In terms of the Buddha being extremely far away from us, we can understand this in so far as the Shakyamuni Buddha himself passed away、uh, more than 2,500 years ago. As for the Amitabha Buddha, he resides in his Western Pure Land, which is very far away from where we are now. However, In terms of the real Buddha, our own basic nature, this is something that is extremely close to us. And everyone here tonight, so long as you are willing to spend some time and make some effort, has the opportunity to see this basic nature, to see the Dharmakaya. So, from this perspective, the Buddha and we are not separated. 佛和我们永远都是没有距离。佛祖在心中，实际上真正的意义也就是这样子。佛祖在心中，我们的理解是，我们啊，心佛啊，永远都啊，相佛啊，就是睡念佛。我们一般是这样子理解。但是实际上呢，佛祖在心中，就是我们的心中有佛。
，有什么佛呢？就是有佛的法神啊，那佛的法神才是真正的佛啊，佛的法神、佛的法神和宝神是佛的发神的心想啊，他的形象。实际上，真正的佛就是佛的法身啊。那么，佛的发身，它不在外面，它永远都不会在外面，它就是我们的心的本心。所以，我们有一天如果能够证悟的话，那我们就见到了真正真正的佛啊，见到了真正的佛，真正的佛的法身。So, from this perspective, we can say that, in fact, there is no distance between our souls and the Buddha.、Um, we often say that the Buddha is in the mind, or our Buddha is in our minds. Our、uh, conventional understanding of this saying is one thing. However, what this saying is really、um, expressing is that、um, the Buddha. Resides in our minds because、um, the、um, the basic nature of our mind is、uh, the Buddha's Dharma Kaya.、Um, the other two bodies of the Buddha are uh, uh, are uh, the real.、Um, sorry, I just missed a part there.、Um, and this real. Uh, the Dharma Kaya, in fact, exists nowhere else than in our own minds. This is where we will discover the real Buddha. We <coughs> many people, ah, commonly go outside to find the Buddha. We many people go to India to worship the Buddha's temple. That, <coughs> but in reality, ah, this is our real nature. Our real nature is actually the Buddha. 是真正的佛。如果要去找啊，要去寻找佛，那就是不要到外面去寻找佛，就到自己的内心当中去寻找佛。那这样子，我们会一定会一定会找到真正的佛。如果到外面去寻找佛，那永远都找不到真正的佛。那这个在禅宗里面啊，大魔住持。也讲得非常非常的清楚，然后密法里面呢，特别的强调这一点啊，所以我们啊，平时我们去供佛香啊，然后去朝拜佛，去朝拜这些佛的身体，当然是可以的，有功德的啊，有功德，如果有功德，它可以帮助我们证悟啊，帮助我们见到我们自己的心的本心。这些都有帮助的，但是呢，真正的佛在自己的心里，所以我们到内心当中去寻找佛，这是这一生我们学佛的啊，这个最终极的目标，也就是最最最正确的方法，就是如果想见到佛，那就要到往我们的精神世界的深处去找，就能够找到佛。Many people、uh, search for the Buddha in the external world, and in order to do this, they go to India and visit many pilgrimage sites, etc. However, our basic nature is the real. The basic nature of our mind is, in fact, the real Buddha. And to search for this, or to find this, we shouldn't search. In the external world, however, we should turn inside to our inner selves in order to find this real Buddha. It's not something that we will be able to locate on the outside. This is something that Buddha Dharma in the Chan tradition expressed very clearly, and it's also a point that is very much emphasised in the Vajrayana tradition. So, whilst making pilgrimages uh, and uh, revering such sites is meritorious, and indeed the merit that we accumulate in doing so can assist us in realizing our self-nature, the real Buddha is to be found in our own mind, and so this is our real goal as Buddhists to turn. In inwards to our minds in order to locate this real Buddha. 
好，这样子以后呢，我们、嗯、现在知道了，我们要去找寻找佛，那就要应该到什么地方去找？这个我们已经确定了，就是要到自己的内心当中去找啊，佛，不要到外面去找啊。这个确定了，那确定了以后呢，那我们怎么样去找啊？寻找佛的方法是什么样子？哦，这个时候我们就需要我们今天要讲的第二个佛心。So having established where it is that we are able to locate the true Buddha, that is having established that we can only locate the true Buddha in our minds and not in the external world. We now need to look at how it is that we go about discovering the true Buddha in our minds. This is something in respect of which we need methods, and so、um, we are now going to move on to the second kind of Buddha nature. 啊，第二个佛心叫做碎增佛心啊，碎增是什么呢？增长。增长啊，增长就是随着我们的文思修，这个佛心可以逐渐逐渐的增长，所以叫做水增佛心。So this second kind of Buddha nature is referred to as our evolving potential, or the Buddha nature that is to be developed or increased, and.、Uh, Uh, what this、uh, means is that this Buddha nature that is able to be increased will gradually evolve、um, with our study, contemplation, and practice of the teachings. 水增佛心啊，是寻找啊内在的佛的方法。那么它的具体的方法。就是三，就是三个字，文思修。呃，我们想找到内在的佛，我们想见到这个真正的佛的法身。那这样子的话，我们不能啊、呃、停留在这个烧香拜佛啊、呃、松紧磕头，然后参加各种各样的法会。各种各样的小在严守，呃，还有就是等等等等的这些发挥，那、呃、这些发挥我们可以参加，但是呢，这些发挥、呃、只能啊、呃，只能就解决一些暂时的问题啊、呃，暂时的问题，但是根本就没有办法让我们见到啊、呃、真正的佛。所以呢，我们如果想真的想见到自己的内在的佛，那这样子的话，那我们就是要走这个文思修啊这条路。So this、um, Buddha nature that is to be developed, or our inner potential,、um, this the method. Uh, of developing this inner potential, so that we can discover the true Buddha, is that of listening,、uh, reflecting, and practicing or meditating. So, in order to discover the Dharma Kaya within us, we can't afford, as Buddhists, to simply rest at the level of practice of making incense offerings, reciting sutras, doing prostrations, attending Dharma assemblies of various kinds. Of course, these kinds of、uh, dharma, dharma assemblies、uh, we can take part in them. However, they will only be able to help us address temporary problems. They won't assist us at all in discovering the real Buddha. If this is something that we want to do, then the path we must follow is that of listening, reflecting, and meditating. If we are every day. 能够花每一天的百分之五到百分之十的时间啊，去寻找内在的佛啊，这样子已经足够了啊。就如果有更多的时间，那当然是很好了。
，但是每天只有百分之五到百分之十啊这样子的时间。比如说每天啊大坐学习一个小时到两个小时啊，那这样子的话，我们也就这一生当中非常非常有可能见到啊我们自己的心中的佛。Every day, if we are able to allocate just five percent or ten percent of our time to、uh, searching for our inner Buddha, then this is enough. Of course, if we're able to spend more time, then this is excellent. But、uh, even just allocating or dedicating one to two hours each day for meditation and study of the teachings. Then, by doing this, the chances of us in this life of discovering the Buddha in our own minds is very high. We now many Buddhist disciples, ah, we call it Buddhist school, ah, is ah, in life, when we meet problems, we pray to the Buddha, we pray to the Buddha, ah, and generally, the majority of our work. 啊，都是都是烧香拜佛、诵经啊。除了这个以外，文思修、学习、打坐这方面的功课啊，是非常的少。所以呢，我们就得不到、见不到真正的佛啊。所以我们以后呢，啊，这个学佛的方法上面，我觉得需要做一个调整啊。我们可以烧香拜佛。有些时候呢，想参加这些各种各样的法会，如果有时间，如果有这个兴趣，有必要的话，那也可以，偶尔也可以参加啊。但是呢，我们经常都参加这些法会，然后不懂得学习，不懂得修心，啊，这样子真的是不是真正的学佛的方法。比如说，我们啊，观顶啊，或者是居心一个某一种。财神的这个发挥啊，这样子的话，就是人都是人山人海的，任何一个地方都是这样子。那如果讲经说法学习，那这样子的话，就是就每一个地方的人都不是很多的啊。所以我们的学佛的方法啊错了啊，那我们的学佛的方法错，所以我们这种学佛的方法呢，因为它是错误的方法，所以。最终，我们也得不到真正的结果啊！所以，希望大家以后呢，我们啊，每一天啊，就花哪怕是花百分之五的时间，也可以百分之五啊，一天的二十四小时的百分之五，也可以啊，在这个这样子的时间当中，应该有一个文思修这样子的正确的学佛啊，正确的这个修心。Uh, many, for many Buddhists, the way that they go about、uh, practicing so-called Buddhism is when they in- encounter problems or difficulties in their life, they then、uh, light, make incense offerings, and pray to the Buddha for intervention.、Um, so, of course.、Uh, For many people, then their practice really is comprised of this: making offerings of incense, reciting sutras, etc., and、uh, studying, contemplating, and meditating on the teachings forms、um, relatively little of their approach to practice.、Um, however, if we are to attain The re- real Buddha. If we're able to experience the real Buddha, then it's necessary that we make changes to the way that we go about our practice of Buddhism.、Um, of course, it's fine to make offerings to the Buddha. It's fine to attend Dharma assemblies occasionally. However, if we do this all the time, then、uh, this is really not a proper way of engaging in Buddhist practice. In general, when there are empowerments and initiations of different kinds, there is a huge number of people in attendance. However, when teachings are being given on the content of the Buddha 
Dharma, there are usually not so many people in attendance. So, in fact, our understanding of uh, what the practice of Buddhism is, is mistaken. And um, because it's mistaken, this approach to practice will not lead to any real fruits. So if we're able to spend even 5% of each day um, uh, on devoted to studying and con contemplating and practicing the teachings, then this is a very uh, proper and correct approach to practice. 正确的学佛每一年一定会有很明显的进步每一年都会有的好的修行人最好的修行人他们每一天都会有新的收获让上等的修行人中等的修行人不一定每一天都有收获但是呢每一个月都有新的金补和收获然后最下等的修行人只要自己努力的话每一年一定会有明显的金补它不一定每天有金补也不一定每个月都有明显的金补但是呢每一年是一定会有金补的所以我们要学佛的话首先这是要文思秀这样子我们每一个人都会有收获的否则的话这个少相白佛松经参加各种各样的法回这种学佛最多也就积累一点福报而已这个福报我们下一世在投胎在专时的时候呢在轮回当中有一点帮助仅此而已这个功德不能让我们解脱不能让我们成佛所以我们学佛就要一定要走这个文思秀这条路这条路才是正确的选择 If we're able to um devote ourselves to practicing in this way, then we will see results in our practice every single year. In terms of uh, different uh, calibers of practitioner, the best practitioners see results in their practice every day. Uh, more middling practitioners see results in their practice every month. The lowest uh, caliber of practitioner might not see results every year or every month, but they will still certainly see very clear results in their practice every year. So in order to um, practice the Buddha's teachings, it's necessary that we take an approach that emphasizes listening, contemplating, and meditating. And by following this kind of approach, every single person will see results from their practice. Um, if our approach to practice is that of making offerings and reciting sutras, attending dharma assemblies, etc., this will enable us to accumulate some amount of merit. And uh, this merit will be of some benefit to us in our next life and in cyclic existence. However, this merit in and of itself will not enable us to achieve liberation or attain Buddhahood. So if we are to attain Buddhahood, it's necessary that we follow an approach of listening, reflecting, and uh, meditating. This is the proper choice to make. <coughs> 听闻佛法佛法有很多很多的佛法佛法的这个量相当的大就像藏传佛教的这个大藏经啊韩传佛教的大藏经每一个都有非常庞大的这个佛经啊那我们如果要学这么多的话是没有办法学所以啊就不需
还有就是这个啊，大波仁波切的这个《解脱庄严轮》等等，就是类似于这样子的一些佛经，这是一个精华浓缩版啊，浓缩版。那这个里面呢，有出离心，有菩提心，也有证悟空性的方法。我们就是选一个这样子的比较简单一点的佛经来学习，然后学习啊，首先要去听。啊，听，就像我们今天这样子面对面，如果有这样子的机会的话，那就去听。还有就是，我们可以通过网络，也可以啊、呃、学习。啊、呃，现在我们学习的这个条件比较成熟，比较方便啊，网络也可以，也可以一样的学习。So in terms of the First of this threefold formula, listening. This refers to listening to the teachings of the Buddha, and of course, in terms of the teachings of the Buddha, there is a vast amount of、uh, different teachings. In the Tibetan canon and the Chinese canon, the Textual bodies are extremely vast.、Uh, they're too vast for us to be able to read everything, and in fact, we don't need to. It's fine if we select a few texts to use as the basis for our study. For example, one such text would be the、um, uh, words of my perfect teacher, or、uh, Tsongkhapa's "The Graded Stages of the Path." So these are concise texts, succinct texts, and yet they cover renunciation, bodhicitta, methods for realizing emptiness. So、um, we、uh, we can choose simpler texts like these as the subject for our study of the teachings. And in terms of listening to the teachings, we need to hear the teachings. So, for example, if we have opportunities like tonight to attend a teaching like this, we can do that. Or otherwise, we can also listen to teachings on the internet. Fortunately, we、uh, exist in a time where the conditions for、uh, listening are quite good, so we can also study on the internet as well. 然后，文思就是思考佛教的教义，还有这些修行的方法。啊，思考平时自己可以思考，还有最好的方法呢。我们啊，就学佛的人有些时候聚在一起，大家分享啊，大家讨论啊，这样子的话也是一个很好的一个思考思维的方法。So, in terms of reflecting on the Buddhist teachings, this refers to contemplating the Buddhist doctrine as well as the、uh, methods of practice. This is something that we can do by ourselves, or we can otherwise gather together with our other Dharma friends and discuss the content of the teachings. This is also another good way to study them. 啊，最后就是修行啊，修行就是我们佛学佛的重点啊，核心的部分就是修行。如果没有修行，那我们、嗯、这个呃、啊，再多的烧香拜佛、诵经、磕头，呃、啊，都不能减少我们的烦恼，更不能断除我们的烦恼。如果这些烦恼没有断除的话，那我们再有福报啊。再积累功德也是不能解脱的啊！只要有这些烦恼，那他们不会让我们啊解脱，所以必须要解决啊这些烦恼。呃，这个问题必须要解决。那唯一的一个解决的方法就是搭坐修心啊，培养真悟空心的智慧和菩提心，那这样子才能够把这些烦恼啊断掉。然后这些烦恼断掉了以后呢，然后就是因为没有什么力量让我们扭转这个轮回，这个时候呢，我们会获得呃解脱啊，所以修心是最最最重要的。所以我们今天在座的啊，希望大家以后我们要养成一个习惯，每天啊，每天，除非是非常非常的忙，非常非常的特殊的情况。以外，每天啊，至少也有像半个小时、二十分钟啊，这样子的时间当中呢，静下来
啊，大大左啊，这样子也就会，如果虽然每天的时间不是很多，但是如果呃一天的时间不是很多，但是如果每天这样子能够坚持的话，那就细水长流，最后一定啊有结果，这个非常的重要。And、uh, the third of this threefold formula is practice or meditation, and this is really the core of Buddhist practice. For if we don't have this, if we lack this, then all of the offerings we might make, the recitations we might do, the prostrations we might make, will not be able to help us reduce our suffering and much less eliminate our suffering. And without eliminating our suffering, then regardless of how much merit we may have accumulated, it won't be possible for us to achieve liberation. So、um, it's、um, the in terms of addressing our suffering and our affliction, the only way to do this is through meditation, and uh, in and uh, through meditation by cultivating the wisdom of realizing emptiness and cultivating compassion. It is these things that will enable us to eliminate suffering and essentially render our、um, afflictions without any power、um, to keep us spinning in cyclic existence. And so, therefore, we will be able to achieve liberation. So, meditation is really the most important thing in terms of our practice. So, it's my great hope that every day, for at least twenty minutes. Or thirty minutes that everyone is able to sit down quietly and meditate. This may not be a lot of time each day, but through persevering in、uh, over a period of time, it is certain that we will be able to see good results. Ah, this these three different techniques, ah, are all different. 让我们啊获得一些，都能够让我们获得一些新的智慧。文是修，有文所得的智慧和事所得的智慧，修所得的智慧就三种智慧。然后这个三种智慧逐渐逐渐的增长啊，增长了以后呢，我们的这个内心的这个体悟啊，可以逐渐的。靠近啊，这个新的本心，新的本心啊，通过这个文思修，我们对这个我们自己的新的本心的认识和这个体会就越来越深啊，越来越深。最后，我们的这个智慧啊，文思修的修的智慧，最后就可以啊，体会啊，彻底的了解到。佛心啊，佛心如来藏啊，这个时候用禅宗的话来讲，叫做明心见性啊，大收音，大圆满，这个时候就叫做正悟啊，正悟，正悟心的本性。实际上啊，明心见性，正悟心的本性都是一个意思啊。那这个时候呢，我们就已经达到了学佛的目标。So each of these activities within this threefold formula enable us to generate different kinds of new wisdom. So there is wisdom associated with listening to the teachings. There is wisdom associated with reflecting on them, and there's also wisdom that is generated through meditating on the teachings. And uh, uh, as we engage in listening, reflecting, and meditating, our wisdom will. Gradually increase, and as it does, our mind's experience will become gradually closer to its basic, deepest nature. And ultimately, the wisdom generated by meditating will enable us to gain a complete experiential understanding of our Buddha nature. In the Chan tradition, this is described as realizing one's self nature. In the Dzogchen tradition, this is described as realizing the basic nature of mind. 
in any case, this is achieving this is the ultimate goal of Buddhist practice. <咳>啊，那这个正悟的方法最后到最后正悟的时候呢，境界都是一样的，都是一样的境界，只不过就是暂时的这个方法上面稍微有一点点不一样而已。实际上最后达到了境界，最近最终的时候呢，啊，都这
immediately attain Buddhahood. No, it doesn't. There is still a large distance between uh, being awakened uh, or having an experience of realization and attaining Buddhahood. However, the difference is that after uh, we have gained an experience of realization that our the speed of our progress will be quicker than previously. So at the moment, our progress is not particularly fast. However, once we uh, are awakened, then the uh, distance, the distance that we still have to go is considerable, and yet our progress will be able to take place at an accelerated rate. Everybody person has the opportunity in this life to realize the basic nature of mind so long as they invest a bit of time and effort in listening, contemplating and practicing the teachings. Um, through doing so, it is certainly possible that everyone here um, may uh, become awakened. So it's very much my hope that from now on everyone puts effort into uh, listening uh, reflecting and meditating and um, transforms their practice from one uh, that focuses on making incense offerings, doing prostrations and reciting sutras to one that uh, emphasizes uh, listening, contemplating and meditating. And if we do this, we're sure to get very sound results. Oh, then this, uh, <coughs> 我们可以通过网络学习也很多也有这个视频和音频都有的大家可以通过网络学习如果如果我们本地有佛教的中心或者是有寺庙有人讲这个就是最好的免对免这样子去学习是最好的实在是没有了那我们可以通过网络学习 the uh, preliminary practices are uh, something that we can learn about via the internet. For example, uh, on the internet at my uh, Wisdom Light website, I have um, very clear teaching materials, learning materials on the four outer preliminaries. And uh, these are something that everyone can download and study for themselves. There are also many other teachings, uh, other teachers too, who have um, taught on the preliminaries, and their audio um, audio recordings and videos are also available. So, if we have uh, local dharma centers or temples where it's possible for us to study face to face with a teacher in person, this is best. However, if our uh, circumstances uh, don't permit us to do this, then it is fine if we study via the internet. Okay. 那这个衣柜的年诵的方法 so to go about studying the four outer preliminaries and the five inner preliminaries, it's uh, necessary that we have an oral transmission for a uh, preliminary uh, a liturgy. And so I'd like to give an oral transmission for such a liturgy now. It's a very convenient one that um, 
uh, everyone can recite during their practice of the preliminaries. It's a very straightforward. It's very straightforward. And if anyone has any questions, nevertheless, about how to go about reciting it, then I have explained this in the second volume of the Wisdom Light book series. 好，我们最后做回乡。我们今天的。呃，听经问法的功德，回向分享给天下所有的众生，愿天下所有的众生幸福健康，很快就能够超越生死轮回，啊，以这样子的法缘心愿来回向。So we're just going to end now with a dedication of merit.、Um, in dedicating the merit that we have gained through listening to this teaching tonight, we do so with the aspiration that, on the strength of this merit, all beings will achieve happiness and health, and、uh, very quickly transcend the sufferings of cyclic existence. So nam de yi tan zhe zhe ba nya to ni ni bi zhe nan ba xi re ji ga nan ji wa long zhe ba yi zhe bin zhe lian zhe wa zhe re xiu o ma a hong ban zhe ge zhe ba ma se de hong o ma a hong ban zhe ge zhe Thank you.